then, I'm Miss Erica T. Gonzalez, your arts teacher for today. For today's episode, we will be discussing Grade 10, Quarter 3, Media-Based Arts in the Philippines. Before we proceed with our lesson for today, allow me to share some quick reminders to make our virtual class smooth flowing. I'd like to encourage everyone to find a convenient and comfortable place. I'd also like to remind everyone to concentrate fully on the screen because we will be addressing a very interesting subject today. You can place your learning materials such as your notebook and ball pens beside you so that you can jot down some key points and keywords from our lesson. I also encourage you to respond digitally as if I were physically present with you, guiding you through the lesson. Remember to relax, participate, and enjoy today's topic. Let's start today's learning activity by casting our individual prayer. May I request everyone to pause temporarily and have a moment of silence. Here are today's most essential learning competencies. Number one, identify art elements in the various media-based arts in the Philippines. Number two, identify representative artists as well as distinct characteristics of media-based arts and design in the Philippines. Before we start, let's have an activity called Game Ka ba? Just like the game show, I will be giving the set of questions with its choices. And you just have to recite orally your answer after the 5 seconds timer. Number one, these are the two typical characteristics of photography. A. Immediacy and detail. B. Nearness and part. C. Imminence and picture. D. Proximity and aspect. The answer is A. Immediacy and detail. Number two, it is the science, art, and practice of creating durable images by recording light or other electromagnetic radiation, either electronically by means of an image sensor or chemically by means of a light-sensitive material such as photographic film. A. Cinema B. Photos C. Film D. Photography The answer is D. Photography. Number three, it is a series of moving images show on a screen, usually with sound, that makes up a story. A. Film B. Mass Media C. Theater D. Video The answer is A. Film it is a film that traumatizes the life of a non-fictional or historically based person or people. A. Science fiction B. Horror C. Biographical D. Musical The answer is C. Biographical 5. Special effects movies featuring live actors, animated characters, or live actors and animated characters together. A. Epic B. Science Fiction C. Documentary D. War The answer is B. Science Fiction let us start refreshing our thoughts with the elements of art. In the previous lesson, you have learned the different art elements in the Philippine media-based arts, which includes line, shape, color, form, value, texture, and space. These seven elements of art are used by artists and mix them with the different principles of design to compose a work of art. However, not all artworks contain all these elements. At least two elements are present in an artwork. To further widen your knowledge and understanding about the Philippine media-based art, let us identify the distinct characteristics of each. You will be seeing photos of the different media-based art. You just have to choose if it's under photography, film, and animation. 
Just write A if it's photography, B for film, C for animation. Number one. The correct answer is B, film. Very good. Number two. The correct answer is photography. Good job. Number three. The correct answer is animation. Very good. Number four. The correct answer is film. Good job. Number five. Photography. Excellent. Our next activity is called what is it? You just have to identify what's in the photo and what is it used or you can describe it. Photo number one. Correct, it is a camera. Cameras have one function. They capture visual information at a point in time. For video and movie cameras, that will be across a series of points in time and allow their users to view that information either later or in another locale. Number two. Number two, film set. Very good. Film directors make creative decisions to determine the look of a movie, including those that impact the special effect, filming locations, shot angles, and actors' performances. These professionals participate in virtually every phase of a filming project. Number three. It is a motion picture. Very good. Any motion picture that is short enough in running time not to be considered as feature film. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences defines a short film as an original motion picture that has a running time of 40 minutes or less, including all credits. For today's lesson, we will be learning about the different media-based arts and designs such as photography, film, and animation. But before that, let us define media-based arts and design. Media-based art developed through time. Some parts of the world may have embraced its advantages earlier compared with others. But nonetheless, it is evident how changes in medium and forms of art dependent upon it have allowed the creative minds of Filipino filmmakers, animators, and cartoonists to realize that there is no bound in their field of art because it grows, develops, and changes as time progresses. In this quarter, the modern techniques and trends in photography, film, and digital media will be explored. Most notably, the talent, creativity, and workmanship of the Filipino artists and designers in all these fields will be recognized and celebrated. Not only have this brought Philippine artistry to the world's attention, but they have opened an entire range of opportunities for young Filipinos to develop and apply these talents and earn a living while doing so. Technological advances continue to be a major driving force in the directions that each of these art forms has taken. Among the results have been exciting innovations in materials manipulation, coloring and embellishment techniques, and creation and production processes applied to all today's media, whether physical and tangible or virtual in cyberspace. So let's start with photography. Photography is the science, art, and practice of creating durable images by recording light or other electromagnetic radiation, either electronically by means of an image sensor or chemically by means of a light-sensitive material such as photographic film. Photography was viewed as a purely technical process that records visible images by light action on light-sensitive materials. The word photography comes from two Greek words, photos meaning light and graphos meaning writing. It was started in the late 19th century and from then it was not immediately considered as art. The photographer as artist. The photographer focuses the camera at a subject and clicks the shutter to make the photography as a process. Once the artist discerns an important moment and focuses his camera on it, the shutter, it becomes an art in photography. The photographer has captured the elements of arts like form, color, light, shadow, texture, and composition to create a true work of art. Photography is communication. 
Photography is considered as one of the most powerful means of communication. Photographic image is today's most important means of conveying information and ideas and expressing emotions. Two typical characteristics of photography is 1. Immediacy. It is seen in true to life and of the moment. Number 2 is detail. The camera takes in every detail of an image. Photographs are vital tools in communication fields such as journalism, advertising, education, and even in courts of laws. Here are some famous Filipino photographers who have made their work mark in Philippine photography. First is George Tapan. George Tapan is an award-winning travel photographer who has won two Pacific Asia Tourism Associations or the PATA Gold Awards, an ASEAN Tourism Association Award, and first place in the 2011 National Geographic Photo Contest. His highly acclaimed work has been published in five travel photography books. Let's look at some of his work. Next is John K. Chua, is the best known as an advertising and commercial photographer with over 40 years of experience in the field and numerous local and international awards for his work. At the same time, he has applied his photo artistry to showcase in the beauty of the Philippines. Now let's look at some of his works. Next is Mr. Manny Librodo. He was a full-time teacher at an international school in Bangkok. His photographs is about glamour, fashion, and travel portraiture. His photograph was regularly top online in competitions. He graced numerous UNICEF calendars, commercial work, international magazines, and other covers of some of the world's leading photography publications, such as Asian Geographic and the Digital Photographer magazine. Now let's look at some of his works. Another art form which has risen to tremendous heights within the last century is film or cinema. As its early name, motion pictures, declared, film brought yet another dimension into play, that of moving images. The possibilities of this medium created a new art form that was to become a powerful social and economic force and a legacy of the 20th century to the world. Cinema, just as all modern arts, has been greatly influenced by technology. In the case of cinema, however, it is an art form that came into being because of technological events. The transition from still photography came in the late 1800s with series photography and the invention of celluloid strip film. This allowed successive still photos of a moving subject to be captured on a strip of film advancing through a single camera. This was the seed of the highly advanced film medium we enjoy today. The need to view these moving images led to the rise of the kinetoscope, a peep show cabinet with an eye hole through which these earliest movies could be viewed one person at a time. A motor inside the cabinet moved the film strip along in a loop with an electric bulb providing illumination from beneath. In the meantime, European and American inventors were providing one technological ad advancement after another. The French developed the cinematography, a hand crank camera, printer, and projector all in one that was lightweight enough to bring outside the studio. By 1901, the earliest motion pictures were rapidly progressing from one scene, studio films to multiple scene narratives filmed outdoors. Driven by this and many more advances, the art aspect of filmmaking was born. The collaborative art of filmmaking. Filmmaking, because of its technical complexity, involves entire teams of artists, writers, and production experts, supported by technicians taking charge of the cameras, lighting equipment, sets, props, costumes, and the like, all under the provision of a film director. 
Film directing. It is the director, like the painter and sculptor in traditional art, who envisions the final effect of the film on its viewers, visually, mentally, and emotionally. While the painter and sculptor work with physical materials, the film director works with ideas, images, sounds, and other effects to create this unique piece of art. He or she conceptualizes the scenes, directs the acting, supervises the cinematography, and finally the editing and sound dubbing in much the same way as a visual artist composes an artwork. Clearly, however, the director does not do all this alone. Through the years, the complexity of filmmaking gave rise to numerous allied arts that did not previously exist. Acting First and foremost, there was the art of acting for film. With live theater as the only form of acting at that time, film actors had to learn to express themselves without the exaggerated facial expressions and gestures used on stage. With the addition of sound in the 1930s, they then had to learn to deliver their lines naturally and believably. Cinematography Behind the scenes, there was cinematography or the art of film camera work. This captured the director's vision of each scene through camera placement and movement, lighting, and other special techniques. Editing This was joined by film editing, the art of selecting the precise sections of film. Then sequencing and joining them to achieve the director's desired visual and emotional effect. Sound editing was also developed as films began to include more ambitious effects beyond the dialogue and background music. Production Set Design Underlying all of this was the art of production and set design. This recreated in physical terms through location, scenery, sets, lighting, costumes, and props. The mental image that the director had of how each scene should look, what period it should depict, and what atmosphere it should convey. This included creating worlds that did not exist as well as worlds that were long gone, designing each production component down to the very last detail. Again, all of these allied arts were made possible through the advances of modern technology, from cumbersome machines that could barely be moved, today's highly sophisticated cameras and accessories can handle even the most demanding camera work. From the era of silent films, today's films incorporate a vast range of voice, music, and sound effects to suit an ever-widening array of film genres. From manual rendering, today's animated films use the awesome capabilities of computers to amaze moviegoers of all ages. Philippine Filmmakers in the Philippine film scene, the American influence was evident in the pre-World War II and liberation years with song and dance musicals, romantic dramas, and comedy films. Beginning with the turbulent 1970s, however, progressive Filipino directors emerged to make movies dealing with current social issues and examining the Filipino character. Among them were Lino Broca, Tinimbang Kang Unit Kulang, 1974, Maynila, Sa Mga Kuko ng Liwanag, 1975, Mike De Leon, 18, 1976, Sister Stella L, 1984, Bayaning Third World, 1999, Ishmael Bernal, Himala, 1982, and Peke Galiaga, Oro Plata Mata, 1983. Outstanding female directors have likewise made their mark in the Philippine cinema. Among them are Loris Gillian and Marilu Diaz Abaya. Loris Gillian Salome, 1981, earned international acclaim at the Toronto International Film Festival. Her more recent films such as Tanging Yaman, 2001, which won Best Picture in Metro Manila Film Festival, American Adobo, 2002, Santa Santita, 2004, and Sayo Lamang, 2010, all gained her recognition among the current generation of Filipino movie covers. Marilu Diaz Abaya captured the attention and respect of the viewing public with powerful films such as Jose Rizal, 1998, perfectly timed for the centennial celebration of Philippine independence, Muroami, 1999, which bravely exposed the deadly practice of using child divers to pound for fish in the Philippines' coral reefs, and Bagong Buwan, 2001, which dealt with the human cause of the Muslim-Christian conflict in Mindanao. Crossing over easily between projects for the television and for the big screen is veteran film director Mario J. De Los Reyes. The heartwarming drama film Magnifico won for him the Best Director Distinct at the 2003 FAMAS Awards and garnered other local international film awards as well. 
De Las Reyes continues to be active in both film and television media, having become known for well-loved teleseries or television drama series. Another Filipino film director who has brought the country to the cinema world's attention is Brillante Mendoza. Mendoza was originally a production designer for films, commercials, and music videos, and started directing films in 2005. But in just four years, his film Kinatay, The Execution of P, won for him the Best Director Award at the highly prestigious Cannes Film Festival of 2009. The public response to motion pictures was immediate and enthusiastic. From makeshift Nickelodeons in 1904 to luxurious dream palaces for middle-class moviegoers by 1914, public showings of movies were a big hit. With World War I over and the establishment of Hollywood as the center of American filmmaking in 1915, movie industry was on its way to becoming one of the biggest and most influential of the century. With financial success came to rush to release more and more films in an ever wider variety leading to the many film genres we know today. Some of it are animated film is the process of making films in which drawings or puppets appear to move. The act, process, or result of imparting life, interest, spirit, motion, or activity. The graphical films is a film that dramatizes the life of a non-fictional or historically based person or people. Documentary films is a non-fiction genre where made using real-life footage as well as file materials in many cases to present an issue. Epic films are a style of filmmaking with large scale, sweeping scope, spectacle, and classical literary focus on a heroic character. Fantasy films are films with fantastic themes, usually involving magic, supernatural events, incredible creatures, or exotic fantasy worlds. Science fiction films are sci-fi, as well as special effects, movies featuring live actors, animated characters, or live actors and animated characters together. Horror films is a film that seeks to elicit fear for entertainment purposes. The last one is musical films is a film genre in which songs by the characters are interwoven into the narrative, sometimes accompanied by dancing. In recent decades, a whole new career opportunity has emerged for creative Filipinos via the field of animation. In fact, Filipino animators have been involved in the creation of some of the best-loved and technically challenging animated feature films produced in the last few years. Among these are Toy Story, Up, The Incredibles, Monsters University, Cars, Finding Nemo, Planes, Brave, Shrek, Kung Fu Panda, and more. Such recognition in the Philippine talent abroad has, in fact, spurred the development of the local animation industry as well. Animation is from the Latin word animatio, animo, to animate or to give life, and asio, the act of, which means the act of giving life. It is the process of creating the illusion of motion and shape, changed by means of the rapid display of sequence of static images that minimally differ from each other. The artist or the person who specializes in the creation of animation is called animator. The Animation Council of the Philippines Incorporated is a non-stock, non-profit organization that aims to create an identity for the Philippines within the animation industry, making it one of the preferred sources of animation services worldwide. The organization works hand-in-hand -hand with participating college universities, the TESDA, and other government agencies and local government units to develop animation as a promising career option for Filipinos. In 2013, TESDA and ACTI began offering 2D and 3D animation scholarships to interested high school graduates between the ages of 18 and 45. The Philippine Animation Studio Incorporated was established in 1991 and has since collaborated on numerous animation projects and series with foreign partners. Among these have been Captain Flamingo, Producing Parker, Groove High, and Space Heroes Universe. For this last cartoon, Passy was tapped by a children's entertainment company based in Sydney, Australia and went on to win the Best Animation category in the 2012 Pixel Awards. Among the other exciting milestones in the fast-emerging Philippine animation industry was the creation in 2008 of Urduha, an animated film adaptation of The Legend of the Warrior Princess of Pangasinan. 
produced by the APT Entertainment, Seventeen and Imaginary Friends, or Duha is recognized as the first fully animated Filipino film created by an all-Filipino group of animators using the traditional animation process with some 3D effects. The characters were voiced by an all-star cast of actors from Philippine cinema and television with the screenplay written in Filipino. Also released in 2008 was Dayo sa Mundo ng Elementalia, said to be the country's first all-digital full-length animated feature film. Produced by Cutting Edge Productions, the film presents Philippine mythical creatures as heartwarming characters in a young boy's adventure. The production involved over 500 local animators and featured a traditional animation technique. Its characters were rendered in 2D animation while the backdrops were created using 3D animation. Dayo was also the first ever animated movie to be screened during the Metro Manila Film Festival as it was entered in the 34th Metro Manila Film Festival in December 2008. Another breakthrough was the first Filipino full 3D animated film, RPG Metanoia, co-produced by Ambient Media, Tomatrope Animation, and Star Cinema in 2010. Now that you've learned about the different media-based arts in the Philippines, let's have our next activity. For this activity, we are going to arrange the jumbled letters to form a word. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1 Number 2 Number 3 Number 4 Number 5 Number 6 Number 7 Number 8 Number 9 And number 10 Now let us check your answers Number 1, Photography Number 2, Artist Number 3, Photographer Number 4, George Tapan Number 5 Animation Number 6 Animator Number 7 Film Number 8 Production Number 9 Acting Number 10 Epic Now count your correct answers and encircle your score Now let us answer task 5 Read each item carefully then choose the letter of the correct answer Once again you will be given 5 seconds to answer each item Number 1. These are the two typical characteristics of photography. A. Immediacy and detail. B. Nearness and part. C. Imminence and feature. D. Proximity and aspect. Number 2. It is the science, art, and practice of creating durable images by recording light or other electromagnetic radiation, either electronically by means of an image sensor or chemically by means of a light-sensitive material such as photographic film. A. Cinema B. Photos C. Film D. Photography Number 3, it is a series of moving images shown on a screen, usually with sound, that makes up a story. A. Film B. Mass Media C. Theater D. Video
It is a film that traumatizes the life of a non-fictional or historically based person or people. A. Science fiction B. Horror C. Biographical D. Musical Five. Special effects movies featuring live actors, animated characters, or live actors and animated characters together. A. Epic B. Science Fiction C. Documentary D. War 5. And here are the correct answers. Now, I want you to count your correct answers and then circle your score. For those who got 5, excellent! For those who got 4, very good! For those who got 3, good! For those who got 2 and below, it's okay, you can rewatch the video to review the lesson. Your performance task is entitled, Images with a Message. This aims to recognize art as a source and expression of hope. The photo should show creative. Each student will be having a photo shoot at home following the theme Sining ng Pag-asa, other social realities, as well as the arts role in improving our community life as a Filipino. Set up around your house on your own time. Taking photographs following the theme. Store the three best ones in your device and then submit it to me after it. And here is the rubrics to help you clarify course content and expected learning outcomes or objectives. For today's reflection, you will be writing your personal insights using the prompts below. I understand that and I realize that. That will be all for today. Once again, I'm Ms. Erica T. Gonzalez, your teacher for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you!